These woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Tonight, the investigation team and I have set out to document one of the secrets of factory farming. The images I'll shoot tonight will haunt me for months to come, but they hold the key to helping millions of animals. Like a blanket, the darkness enfolds me. I breathe in the crisp air and look up at the moon. These surroundings calm me. They sharpen my senses as they've done so many nights before. Every investigator knows that nightmares are not born of darkness. They emerge under industrial fluorescent lights. This is how modern day chickens are raised. The barn feels more like a field of chickens. And in here, they're treated much like crops. These animals have been bred to grow so fast that their hearts and legs can hardly keep up with the pressure from their bulking bodies. We haven't spent more than a minute here before we can see the dead scattered amongst the living. To some, death comes quickly. Others wither slowly away. She starts to nod off a little bit when we're quiet. And she's got a badly um, paralyzed or injured leg. So she uh, pushes herself around, flaps around, but she can't really walk anymore. This is going to be her fate. She'll never receive individual care baby. by a veterinarian. I'm so sorry. Her body isn't even close to being worth the price of a vet bill. I'm so sorry. Like hundreds of others in this barn, she will either die on her own or be killed by the farmer on his daily round to pick up the so dead sorry. and dying. I wonder how these chickens will react once they realize I mean no harm. I stop shooting, sit down, and put my camera on the ground. At first, they're still cautious, but soon the bolder birds start to get closer. They're curious. Soon I find myself surrounded by a sea of chickens. I'm covered in chickens right now. <laughs> They're clambering to get up here. There's tens of thousands of birds in here, but you know, if these guys were at Farm Sanctuary or at any sanctuary, they would have a name. And it's just so different here. Here they're not individuals. I always had a love and a concern for animals, but I was in my 20s before my relation to chickens changed. My mom had pet chickens at home, and I fell in love with their charming ways and their quirks. But at the same time, I was eating chicken for dinner. I was quick to realize that these animals were no different from the dogs and other animals I so adored. I made a promise to animals then, one that I keep to this day, that I wouldn't harm them, that I'd use my camera to tell their stories, and that I'd never turn away. This chicken has never been pet before, and she loves it. I mean, chickens just love this. She's settling down onto my hands. She's starting to preen herself now because she likes what I'm doing so much. Look at this. She's settling into my hand because it's warm. She's happy. Yes. Yes, I like you too. I know that you're sweet. I mean, she's sitting in my hands. I'm feeling her little heartbeat. <laughs> As dawn approaches, our time here is running out. It's time to leave. The stinging pain in my chest never lets me down. I get to leave. They don't. Keeping people in the dark enables this industry to exist without scrutiny. Photography is my contribution, my way of shining a light in that darkness, my way of creating change. 
My promise. You too can make a promise to not cause harm. To look, to really see, and to never turn away. <laughs>